I am so far behind on opening cars that I figured today, let's just crack into about 20 cars and get caught up. That is right. I have been stockpiling cars here and I need to get caught up and crack some open. So this is going to be, um, let's see, uh, K. We have K case. L case and M. So just a bunch of K, L, M, maybe some other oldies in there, but this is going to be kind of the main, the main gist of it here. We're going to start off with one that I have definitely been waiting to see the new 911 GT3. So I did find this in one of the new Hot Wheels eight packs, but I have not opened up that eight pack yet. So just love this casting. Oh, Got some uh, scratching back there, but in red, this thing looks super nice. Those gold, gold wheels, very cool. This one actually is a little banged up there. And next up here from L Case, we have the 911 Carrera RS 2.7. So this is new for 2023. I think I have the other one right here, the matching white. So let's get these babies out. Super cool. I really like this orange. Just a lot of bright colored Porsches here to start it off. Man, the body lines and stuff on this one just looks so good. So the taillights are part of the um, interior, part of the windshield. Got the Carrera on the side. Looking good. And then the, I think this was the first release actually. So these are the first, uh, the new additions. They usually do two different colors of the car for its like first edition release. This white one does look really clean. I do actually have a set of blue rear real rider wheels that I've been waiting to put on a car and maybe this is the car. It would match perfectly. And then rounding off here for the Porsches, I believe this was actually from G case, but this is the uh, 71 Porsche 911 with the Magnus Walker. So Magnus Walker has a ton of variations in Hot Wheels Porsche castings. Very cool. The 277 Momo livery, Urban Outlaw up there on top. Very nice. And moving on, we have another new for 2023. This is the Remac Nevera, which is a uh, electric hypercar so the first release was that blue color and now we have it in the white so this one is cool because the that color there on the side is actually part of the interior so if you took the car apart and swapped some of the interiors around then you could actually swap um, that little stripe that goes along the side and in the back so maybe this one might take it apart and put some white TE37s on it and add it to our little TE37 collection. Might be kind of neat. And another one that I am surprised that I have not seen, this is also from G Case, but this is the Audi 90 Quattro. So this thing looks super cool. Just a lot of details on this for a mainline casting. Let's see if we can get her out. This is another one that I wouldn't mind putting some. Uh, some real rider tires on. Just a lot of detail on it. The side exit, side exit exhaust there. No details in the back, but just plenty of details elsewhere on the car. Looking very cool. Even the details on the inside there. Not sure what that is, some kind of tools or something in the back. Got the single windshield wiper blade. Pretty neat. And then another new for 2023. We just have a ton of first editions, but this one definitely caught my eye, the Limited Grip Black Widow. So this is like a little drift truck. Um, super cool. So you can see this thing is just all drift out. You can see the tail bed there is all gutted. Uh, looks like you got like the fuel system and roll cage back there. Got the little wing, no tailgate on it. In the front, you got the bash bar with the, looks like a twin turbo setup. So probably like a LS V8 twin turbo, but just pretty cool like detail. So I'm excited to see what other like variations they come out with for this. Cause I think they could definitely get pretty creative. 
Next, we have the recolor for the Pontiac Firebird. So I've always really liked this casting. I just think it looks really clean. And in this like dark, uh, geez, this dark metallic purple, I think is a awesome color for it. So you got the whole chrome engine bay, the big blower. So very cool. All the details on this. It just looks, has a really aggressive stance to it. So pretty neat. And next, another new for 2023. Uh, this is the mainline version of what I believe is the Super Treasure Hunt, but is the Alpha Romeo GTV6 3.0. And this has a very interesting style wheel on it, which I am excited to see outside of the packaging here. Making a mess over here with all this. So yeah, it's kind of like the steely design. I don't, I'm not really sure how to describe it. It actually looks, it looks like it is like these style wheels, but the chrome lip on the outside is like a really big dish. So pretty interesting. But this is a pretty cool cast. I'm sure the Super Treasure Hunt with the Spectre Flame paint probably looks amazing. Hopefully I got enough room here on the mat for all these cars. Got about like 10 or so left. So this is the then and now we have the Falcon Tire Ford Mustang. So this is one that I definitely want to wheel swap. So I just did the Falcon Tire RX-7 and put the white TE-37s on it, and it looks amazing. So I thought this would be cool maybe to get some of those white five spokes or maybe even the TEs. Uh, I might have to experiment with it, but this is definitely one that I want to throw some white wheels on and add it to my Falcon Tire collection. Next here we have the recolor of the Mercedes-Benz 560 SEC AMG. So the first release was in the black, and that is one that we wheel swapped here on the channel. So now we get the uh, second color variation here in this nice metallic silver. I definitely think the black one uh, was a little more eye-catching, but still, like I really do like this casting. Next up here we actually have a couple pairs of cars that... I just had not opened up yet. So I think the silver I-8 Roadster was the first one that came out. Uh, and then this is the recolor here in black. So Matchbox did a moving parts of this car and I absolutely hated it. Not to be too mean or rude there, but did not like it at all. So this one, definitely not too bad. I think the silver kind of shows off some of the lines a little more with the tan interior. Uh, it feels good to get caught up on opening some of these. I've been sitting on them for a long time. But yeah, you can see a lot more of the lines on the car. And then I like that cinnamon interior. Pretty cool. We even got the taillight details on the back. Very nice. And the other pair of cars that we have here are the Honda Civic Customs. So these little guys are pretty neat. And I have some wheels for these as well um, that I think I want to throw on. So these cars have some very small wheels on it and whoop. so these cars do have very small wheels on it and i have some real rider wheels that are the smaller variation that basically are only good for little cars like this so i think the r i think this is the ryu's rides for ryu asada correct me down below if i am mistaken on that but i'm pretty sure that is what that is i think this green one is actually the one that I want to wheel swap, although I do really like these like little uh, throwing star wheels. So maybe maybe the orange one will get these throwing star wheels, and then I will throw the premium wheels on this guy. And we really got the sun coming out for us now. It's hard to hard to see my camera here. Um, next we have the Hot Wheels drag strip Copo Camaro SS. So got this one just because I think it looks pretty mean and would be kind of a cool one to race on some future tracks. Definitely like to have a nice stock of muscle drag cars just for some racing possibilities. And here we have the Corvette C7 Z06. This one is in like a really dark like silver metallic and I saw this one online and thought it looked really nice. I really liked the paint on it and you have the silver stripe. Yeah, you can really see that metallic here. It looks very nice. Might have to try to find another one of these to pick up for my dad, who's a big Corvette fan. 
that looking good. And one that I have been wanting so, so bad and have not been able to find it anywhere. I actually ordered one of these, um, I think from Throwback Collectibles for their Labor Day sale. And then of course, I found one like a couple days later in the store, but just the main line, not the super treasure hunt. And I only found one of them, but I have been dying to get my hands on this car. Very excited for this. Really hoping that they move this one over into premium. I think they could do some really cool stuff in premium with this. This is another one that I am looking at possibly wheel swapping. Just need to kind of figure out what wheels I want to put on. So that's cool. It has the one pop-up headlight up. Very nice little touch. And we are almost at max capacity here at the uh, Fast and Furious house. Uh, we only have a couple left here. We got the Dodge Viper RT10 recolor. Uh, I think we saw this in yellow last time, but this purple looking super good. So pair it up here with the, uh, what was this, the Firebird? Yeah, looking very cool. Yeah, these two together, that looks awesome. Very nice. And then the last two today, these are some of the new neon speeders. So I was able to find the uh, Viper and the M2. But of course, no um, GTR, the Focus, or the Civic. So I didn't pick up any of the Fantasy casts, but I did get the M2 and the Viper. So I do like this wheel style here on the M2. This wheel design actually looks very similar um, to like the F80, M2, M3, and M4 series like wheels look, so kind of cool. You got this mixed matched color scheme going on. Not bad. And the last one for today was the Neon Speeders Dodge Viper. Pretty cool. I don't know, do these actually like glow in the dark? Because um, right now it's like, the exact opposite of dark. There is so much sun beaming, beaming down right now, but uh, I think these might. I don't know if they glow in the dark actually, but still, I do like me some Viper action. So let's get down and try to do some little B-roll B roll footage and get some close-ups of these cars. And here we go for a little closer-up look here at some of the cars. This is a very nice mix. So I went through kind of everything that I'd collected, and these were some of the ones that really stood out that I really wanted in my loose collection. So there is that Supra. We finally got it. Man, looking good. And here we go for pass number two, taking a closer look at those neon speeders. Definitely like that M2 Viper looking mean. Then we got the big line of the Porsches. It's interesting to see, too, how much bigger that new GT3 is than those Carreras. Even like holding them in your hand, you can really tell the size difference there. Looking very cool. And speaking of size difference, we have the little Honda Customs. These are some pretty cool little cars. I like the little X's on the headlights there. Just a nice little detail. Definitely want to wheel swap those. And here are the last couple cars here. That Falcon Tire Mustang. Just begging for a wheel swap right there. Got the i8 Roadsters, the Copo Camaro, and then the awesome Z06 Corvette. All right, and as always, thank you guys for tuning in and uh, kind of joining me here as I get caught up on opening some castings. So it definitely feels good to have these open and put a little dent in my uh, my little supply in my closet there that's just been stacking up. So hopefully you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and we will catch you on the next upload. Peace.